happy Tuesday. Girl, I started the day. I forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging. Mm, it's okay. We're here. We're showing up. So today I feel like this whole week in general is just like a pretty slow week at work. I'm getting ahead on research projects, so things that don't have like client deliverables, but like still need to get done. <clears throat> like I have a project due at the end of the month, and then I have something due kind of like next quarter, and then I have some training. You know, you can always be learning and getting better at what you do. So that's kind of like what I'm doing because um, it's just like really slow in these streets. Um, in terms of wrapping presents, all my presents are still wrapped. We haven't had anything trickle in. I need to get rid of those boxes. That was, those were from yesterday. I pretty much wrapped the remaining presents that I have. So um, I'm good with that habit. The whole wrap one present a day challenge was really cool. This year was my first year doing it and I feel like it was a total success. And it really just demonstrates how You'd be doing something small and you'd be feeling like it's not worth it or it's not a big deal and it really adds up over time and so um toward the end i just went ahead and wrapped the ones that i had left i felt like i could see the finish line i was excited and i just did finish it up so for today you guys know that i'm trying to try something different with my routines to see how i feel about the pace um i'm deciding to do instead of doing zone cleaning and weekly home blessing in the same day. I'm just, I've decided to experiment with either alternating or focusing on one during the week and then focusing on the alternative one over the weekend. And I'm gonna kinda see how that's going. So yesterday I did some zone cleaning. I went through my drawers. My husband wouldn't let me touch his. The last thing that I remember doing for my weekly home blessing was scrubbing toilets and wiping sinks. That was several days ago. So it looks like I remember changing sheets last week. I remember doing swish and swipes. I also remember doing horizontal and vertical. So it looks like I'm back to mopping and vacuuming. So that's probably what I'll do today during my lunch break. I'll just do a quick vacuum throughout the whole house or as much as I can reach in 10 minutes and then call it a day. The reason I'm scaling back a little bit on cleaning routines is because I'm trying to create bandwidth and have bandwidth to either meal prep, to have some meal prepping habits, and also some exercise habits. So I think what I'm gonna do today for my lunch break is I'm going to take a walk. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a walk and that will knock that habit out. I'm supposed to be drinking water, so here we go. I'll start, I'll start this. It's not quite a whole bottle, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, I was told you guys yesterday I was listening to that podcast that really inspired me the whole idea that new habits should not be that much outside of your comfort zone and that has really inspired me so when I'm like oh you know thinking about my habit that I want to start drinking water exercising I'm um, tracking my breakfast when I feel that resistance and I'm like I don't want to then I ask myself like what is in your comfort zone like what can you do that feels within your comfort zone and then do that and then see if you could do a little bit more. So um, that really inspired me to just stop trying to make, put so much pressure on myself when it comes to this health stuff, which is where I need a breakthrough and where I feel like I'd just be hyping it up. Like you don't have to do that. Start with where you are, stretch yourself a little bit beyond that and then do that every single day. And if you keep showing up, it will grow, it will get better. If you get dizzy easily or squeamish, I would recommend that you close your eyes for this next part. It's about to get really crazy um, and just listen, I guess. So um, just some housekeeping things. First thing is I went ahead and vacuumed my boys' room off camera. Our vacuum was upstairs and instead of running downstairs to get my phone, I just went ahead and took care of it. And also the floors look really bad. Um, the reason that I think it's this bad is you guys know that I've been trying to adjust my weekly home blessing schedule since I've been a work from home mom. When I was a stay at home mom, I used to handle this every single week. I mean, obviously for give myself grace on weeks where I couldn't get to it, but for the most part every week. So I didn't get this bad, but lately my cadence has been um, more like bi-weekly which is still better than what I used to do 
you know, when I didn't have routines around this stuff. So for me, I have two types of vacuuming. What you guys see is my quick, rough job. I'm just kind of basically spot vacuuming. I'm looking for the worst, most offensive stuff. And then I do my deeper, you know, more thorough vacuuming when I'm doing zone cleaning and I'm in a specific area. So um, I usually focus on high traffic areas whenever I'm zone cleaning. I usually always do my, my bedroom and my boys' bedroom. And then I just kind of wing it for everything else. I'm just going to areas where I know it's been neglected or I know that I've been seeing stuff that's been irritating me. And I just do the best that I can for 10 minutes and then um, call it a day after that. So this is bad vacuuming. It's very unthorough, but it's better than doing nothing, which um, definitely happens when you feel like you don't have time. <laughs> did my weekly home blessing task of the day and you know I did a psyche job at it um but it's weird like I still have a whole 45 minutes in my lunch break whoop, whoop. um so this is what I was hoping for so I could feel like I have more time to prep like healthy meals and stuff like that um I'm not gonna do any meal prep today but I will make um, a tuna sandwich my friend Amy from nurse mom fly baby um, has gotten me all inspired with the tuna for when you're not prepared so uh, like if you want to eat something that's kind of healthy ish but you're not prepared so I'm gonna do that hey guys I am supposed to do a little bit of healthy movement and I feel myself resisting this healthy movement and so I'm trying to remember my focus of the week my quote of the week habits are not designed to be are not supposed to be met with great resistance so the habit is too much if I feel like I don't want to do it and I feel like there's too much resistance so what my strategy is is I'm gonna scale back and ask myself well what do you feel comfortable doing that will help you move your body and then just do a little bit more so I was thinking of options. I was like, I could just get on the floor and do a stretch, or I could just go on a light walk, which honestly, I don't really want to do that. But then I was like, how far could I walk? Like, I'm trying to picture my neighborhood in my mind and be like, how far could I walk that would be in my comfort zone? And then I could just go a little bit further. But I think what I've settled on is I'm just gonna go jump on our trampoline. That's a form of exercise, right? And then I don't really have to go anywhere. I could just do that for a few minutes. It would definitely get my heart rate up, and I could do it with the boys, and it's fun. So I still have, i just been sitting here for 15 minutes trying to make myself go move. So I'm going to use the last 15 minutes of my lunch break to go do that. And then that, I will be able to check that off my list. So that's exciting. Jumping on the trampoline was definitely a good choice. I feel like it was a fun thing for me to do, and I got to... Uh, spend time with the boys um, Here in this next part you'll see where we found a bug inside the trampoline So me and the kids are trying to like kill it, but um, yeah, definitely got my heart rate up and um, It definitely also showed me like how out of shape I was because your girl is on the struggle boat, but Still a great choice and this will probably be one of my go-to activities for days where I feel like I don't want to like go out of my way but I still want to show up for my healthy habit, which is my commitment to try to move more and um, just try to get my heart rate up and, you know, and basically repair my relationship with exercise. I'm horribly, horribly, horribly out of shape. Like my heart rate is up so high, but that was fun. Teresa, did you have fun jumping? It was very fun. Aw, cool. <laughs> Z Do you have fun? <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Let's go back in the house. Okay. You guys haven't had lunch yet. Let's eat.